So this week's top secret, um, we have some S3s off the line. So it's, you know, you just saw them debuted. So just imagine yourself like a day ago or so. And then um, we'll show a couple boards. So here's the first two videos and then see you on the other side. Okay, Lady Ada, what is this? This is a still toasty PCB panel that just came off the oven uh, right here. This is for the Feather TFT ESP32 S3. We've got this awesome TFT Feather in the S2 format. Uh, but this time we've made it, and you can see it's got the S3 Mini, um, the N4 R2, sorry, R4 N2, which means it's got PS RAM, four megabytes of flash. Um, so we're gonna put, one of them is missing because we're um, gonna do the first article inspection. But if you loved our Feather ESP32 S2 TFT Feather, you're gonna really like this one because it's got twice as many cores, more S RAM, it's got Bluetooth. So a nice little upgrade. Uh, Come into the Apex store real soon now. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I'm just doing a quick demo for a new product. This is um, the RCWL1601. This is an ultrasonic sonar distance sensor. What's interesting about this is this one is in I squared C mode. So it does have a mode where you can query it over I squared C. I've got some resistors here because um, it's not built in pull ups. And then I've got it plotting out um, the distance. I can put my hand up and down to, to change the output. Um, it does work. I will say one thing about this. It doesn't seem to like to share the I squared C bus, but there's some situations where you don't want to use um, like the pin trigger pulse style of ultrasonic sonar sensor. Um, you don't want the UART style. Maybe you don't have a PWM input. Um, you have I squared C and as long as you're cool with just that, not having anything else on that same bus, like in this case, I've got uh, this OLED on a different bus. Seems to work just fine. Okay, and uh, you published some boards. By published, I mean emailed it to me so I can post online later. So it will be published. So this really is top secret. What is this? Um, this is an adapter. A lot of people like our Pi Zero compatible spy cameras. Um, and they want to use them on a classic Raspberry Pi, which doesn't have the 22 pin high pitch. CSI DSI connector. Instead, it has uh, the lower pitch, uh, one millimeter pitch, 15 pin connector. And Raspberry Pi used to create an adapter board uh, that they sold that was used with the compute module um, IO boards that did this conversion and they no longer sell it. Uh, so I just quickly, quickly whipped up this little adapter based on the schematics they published. Um, even though this has DSI, it's actually, this is the CSI adapter only, it's the camera connector. Uh, the display connector would be different, but I don't think anything uses the um, 22 pin connector for DSI. So basically it would let you use Pi Zero cameras with a classic Raspberry Pi. Okay, and what's this? Uh, and then someone asked for a Stemma QT hub. Um, so this is just a Stemma QT size board, 0.7 by one inch, um, which is our standard Stemma QT board size, but it has five vertical Stemma QT uh, connectors on it. And so you could, you know, if you have non, um, uh, chain, non, non chaining I squared C, like you're using Grove cables or something, uh, or you're just do DIY I squared C, you can use this uh, to basically share uh, the I squared C ports. And that's top secret.